People have cooked on stovetops for centuries, but it wasn't until about 1800 that metal stoves with flues vented steam and smoke outdoors. Today, factories make encased fans that powerfully ventilate and also light the stovetop. A stovetop is often called a range, hence the name range hoods. No matter how well you cook, steam and smoke are inevitable. Fortunately, the range hoods fan called the blower clears the air in seconds. Production begins with this computer guided machine. It cuts out a sheet of galvanized steel to make part of the hood's housing. A 300 ton press then perforates the sheet and cuts out up to 50 openings for screws, wiring and exhaust outlets. A worker inserts another panel for the housing in a 25 ton press. The machine bends the steel in two places. They'll use this component to make a circular channel that evacuates smoke and steam that often contain grease particles. To curl the panel, the worker uses another machine with three rollers. It forms the circular channel that fits around the blower to direct air through the exhaust. Here a spot welding machine joins two corners of the hood's housing. This is mainly for aesthetics. A weld looks better than a screw or bolt. This 80-ton press bends the hood's shell, making one of eight folds that give the component its final shape. Now a worker removes a plastic coating that protected the steel during the cutting. He applies a sticker with the product ID code. Then a pad printing machine marks the brand name, one of 12 this factory produces. This is the first of eight stops on an assembly line. A worker installs a transformer to power the blower's motor and two halogen lights. This circuit board regulates several functions, including three light intensities in the blower's four-speed motor. She attaches the board to the housing with three screws. This panel has lights that indicate what functions are on. Next, the worker installs the blower's 165 watt electric motor. The motor attaches with three screws into rubber bushings that reduce noise. Then, light sockets made of heat resistant plastic. The blower's housing snaps into place around the motor. A little silicone on the housing ensures an airtight seal around the blower. Then she installs the blower wheel. Next, she plugs the lights in to test them. You press this button three times to make the lights increasingly bright. There's one button for each of the motor's speeds. After snapping a panel on to enclose the hood assembly, a worker attaches a plastic ring to direct air through the blower. A computer system tracks each model's assembly. When workers complete a step, they input it into the system. An optical scanner also senses when they remove a part from one of 25 cubbies, like these removable air filters made of mesh aluminum. The tracking system is called Poco Yoke, a Japanese-inspired method that ensures thorough assembly. It follows each model until workers place it in a box for shipping. The system's final task is to ensure that they put in the mail-in guarantee card and the installation manual. If workers forget anything, the system reminds them with a loud buzzer. Once they staple the box closed, a machine with suction cups picks it up and stacks it 10 boxes per pallet. All this works so you can stay in the kitchen even if you can't stand the heat.